Coming up in this theme park newsroom, I'll be sharing all the details on the brand new World of Jumanji at Chessington World of Adventures. I'll be sharing all the specific details and also sharing my final thoughts. It's time for another episode of Theme Park Newsroom here on Coaster Chow. Gentlemen, I am the C-H-A-L-L, your theme park journalist, and welcome to another theme park newsroom here on the channel. Now, this is from Chessington World of Adventures here in the UK, and I know it's been about a week since this news came out. I do apologise about how late this is, how very late this is, uh, but there is, I've had a lot going on personally, but... This is a big one. This is the reveal of the world of Jumanji, a brand new themed area set to take place opposite the field, opposite Dragon's Fury uh, for 2023. So we're going to share all the details from the Merlin Entertainment's press conference and share my thoughts on this as well. So before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click that case bell to this YouTube video. And for now, guys, let's get into this one and share everything on the world of Jumanji. Chessington World of Adventures Resort and Sony Pictures Entertainment have announced today World of Jumanji. Set to open in spring 2023, this £17 million development marks the world's first themed land for the box office hit Jumanji film franchise and the single largest investment in the history of the renowned UK resort. The project brings together entertainment and industry experts from around the world as they create a world's first experience that deep dives into the event adventures of action-packed stories seen in the box office hit Jumanji films. For those who think they are brave enough to enter the world, a first look at some of the proposed designs give an exciting glimpse as to what to expect. The impressive entrance portal, which is shrouded with the ominous and overgrown Jumanji jungle that dominates the development, creates the perfect immersive starting point for guests as they prepare to take on a whole host of challenges. Now, of course, in terms of rising attractions in the area, we know one of the major attractions coming to the park and that is the launch shuttle B&M wing roller coaster now of course this is the centerpiece attraction of the themed section of the park obviously from the images we have the the jungle entrance portal with the 17 meter high Jaguar shrine the details of the rides and attractions uh, that will populate world of Jumanji are reportedly set to be revealed in the coming months according to variety Com. Now, um, obviously, like I said, we knew about one of the rides anyway because it is the launched Bulgar and Mabillard winged shuttle launch coaster. Uh, you saw from those original plans, the original um, drawings and designs. I will share those on your screen right now. Fan Dabby Dozy. Uh, those are the original drawings and plans uh, for this brand new roller coaster. Now, obviously... Uh, this this is a um, th this is the sort of new style of wing coaster coming to the park from B and M. Uh, this is the launched style, so there will be an inversion. Uh, there will be obviously the shuttle elements. There is one element that is part of the concept arts that was revealed this week, and that is of course the spiral around that Jaguar uh, shrine. So uh, very interesting stuff there. And of course, you can see that the coaster will pretty much. Uh, wrap itself around uh, most of the area uh, now you do have some other attractions and experiences and uh, things that will be a part of this area now of course we knew already uh, that there will be two children's rides um, so obviously in terms of the other rides and attractions the low level flat rides now we don't know what uh, we're unclear at the moment as to right, what ride A will be in the in the original plans. However, ride B will be a junior Miami type attraction. So that's what we're expecting for ride B. Ride A, I mean, looking in closer detail, 
for me personally, I would probably go on a limb and say it's some kind of spinning attraction, some sort of child spinning attraction. Uh, but we know from the plans for Ride B that it will be a Junior Miami style attraction. So uh, I would say probably a children's spinner ride and a Junior Miami attraction. That's just going off of uh, what I can see from Ride A's original plans. So let's share my thoughts on the world of Jumanji and the attractions that will be housed in the area. So there we are ladies and gentlemen, that is the details on the world of Jumanji at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Now I'm going to be brutally honest here, I think this is an incredibly looking themed area. We knew deep down that we were going to go with an intellectual property, that seems to be really dominating definitely the UK park scene, uh, but definitely worldwide as well, definitely dominating the UK park scene and the worldwide theme park scene for the last few years now, intellectual property, so things like Thomas, uh, Peppa Pig, Ben 10, those are called intellectual properties, their licenses, their brands, and their IPs to be used inside theme parks and attractions across the world. So to use the Jumanji IP, the box office IP, intellectual property brand, in the Chessington World of Adventures, I've got to say just as the right part to, to pick Jumanji for me. Um, we know that Gardaland have picked Jumanji as well because they've got their brand new attraction which replacing their Ramses ride. Um, so we, we knew about that, but also with this particular area, this is the first Jumanji area uh, around the world. And of course it's the biggest investment at Chessington World Adventures to date. So uh, very good project. And of course this is their first coaster since Dragon's Fury. Uh, so it's a long time since Chessington's had a brand new roller coaster. There have been, you know, rumours about, you know, when the next coaster was going to come. There was rumours about what it could be. There was those old original developments a few years years back about maybe a pirate themed water coaster or a quad themed launch coaster racing through the jungle uh, so there was definitely some rumors about potential new roller coaster developments as part of like a long-term development rumor for Chesterton World Adventures Resort over the last couple of years last few years uh, so for me I think Chessington's long-term future has definitely been up in the air in terms of it's a mystery surrounding what's gonna happen um, but for me, I feel like this is the right move. And, and to be fair, it's a site that I've wanted to see used for a new development for quite some time now, uh, which is the field opposite Dragon's Fury. This, that's where this new area is going to go. It's going to be opposite Dragon's Fury. Uh, so you can go from one coaster straight to another one uh, opposite. So uh, very good development here by Chessington World Adventures. And uh, in terms of the new children's rides, first of all, we talk about the children's rides, first of all. So the Junior Miami and the what i believe to be some kind of spinning ride i think from the looks of it i mean you look at the 3d plan picture that i put on your screen uh during that for me i feel like this could not saying it will but it could be maybe some kind of demolition derby type zampella attraction you know those kind of zampella De demolition derby attractions where um think of the the cars spin the car the, the spinning ride theme to cars at Walt Disney Studios Park in Paris. Uh, something like that maybe. Maybe something like that. It could be that, or it could be something else. It could be something completely different. But from the 3D plan, it definitely looked like a uh, like boxes, and it's sort of like a circular formation. So it's definitely some kind of round ride. Um, maybe you're sat on the Jumanji board and it's been spun around the room or something like like you've got the floor of the ride theme to the room or something and then you're uh, sort of sitting on this like your own Jumanji car and you're sort of being spun around the game if you know what I mean so maybe something like that um, and then you've got your other children's ride which is Ride B which we know from the plan is going to be definitely a junior Miami style ride you think of the Miami Way fairground rides like a junior more permanent version of that a themed version uh, so I think that would be a nice interesting addition for the kids for Chessington as well but then the signature attraction the centerpiece ride the, the launched shuttle wing coaster by Bolliger and Mabillard um, Great to see Bulger and Mabillard involved with the parks again, with the Merlin Park specifically as well. We missed their work with Nemesis, Oblivion, Nemesis Inferno, Air, which is now Galactica. Um, you know, do some fantastic work across the Merlin chain, Fugged a Diamond, 
uh, Oblivion the Black Hole over at Heidi Park and Gardaland respectively over the last few years. Um, so Bulger and Mabiard for me are definitely a great manufacturer for them to work with and I think it's going to be a great addition to Chessington World Adventure Resort overall. In terms of names, we don't know the names yet. I don't really want to start guessing names because I don't know where to start. I'd have to do some real proper research into the Jumanji franchise and uh, try and pick something out of that. I can only assume the wing coaster will probably be themed around the Jaguar Shrine. I think the Jaguar Shrine and the wing coaster definitely are linked. I think there's definitely a link between the two in terms of story or name or both. So I think we can assume that. The Junior Miami, I'm not really too sure. Again, with the spinning little the little spinner ride, maybe it could be something to do with sitting in your own car on the Jumanji board and you're being spun around the game or something like that. Maybe we're looking at something like that. And for now, guys, I am Coaster Chal, your Doncaster-based theme park source, your theme park journalist. Keep living the coaster life, and I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.